So we just took a look at the edit tab of the copy screen and now we're going to move over to the image tab of the copy screen. So if you're looking at the screen here, image tab, bottom right hand corner, I'll go ahead and tap on that. And you've got a new menu of options here. Going to start off on the top left corner here, you've got your color balance and RGB adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and tap into the RGB adjustment. Maybe you like your grass a little bit greener or your sky a little bit bluer, so you can move the green and blue up by plus pressing those plus icons. You could also move it back down by pressing the minus icons, or you can reset and it will just move it back to its original settings. If I cancel out of that, it's going to bring me back over to my main screen and I'm just going to move from left to right here. I'm going to focus in on the things that are most important. I am probably going to skip over a couple of things for you. One touch adjustment is another uh, feature that I think would be beneficial. If you ever used a filter on Instagram, it works the same way. It's just going to make the image either a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler, perhaps a little bit more vivid. If I press cancel, I'll go back. Background adjustment is the next one. Say for instance you have a thin duplex original where maybe uh, the text from one side is coming through to the front. You might want to just lighten this so that it doesn't pick up some of that text behind it. Or perhaps you have a watermark on the page and you want that to be a little bit more bold. You can go ahead and darken it so that it picks up that image. Sharpness, pretty self-explanatory here. Just really either softer or sharper, just like you would on your TV at home, right? So I've wanted a sharper image. I can just tap on that sharper icon and then it's gonna make that image a little bit sharper in the copy. Likewise, tap on the soft icon, and soften that image a little bit. I'll cancel that. Next feature that I wanna show you on the bottom left, this is a lot of fun, mono color. If you tap on that, Say for instance you have a document that's all in black and you want to convert that all to a different color, you can choose any one of the colors on screen and the document output is going to be all in that color instead of black. Hit reset and go back to my main menu. You'll notice next to the mono color option we have our hue and saturation. If I was to tap on that saturation, just gives me some additional color settings. Uh, gets a little more advanced here, so probably not things that you guys are going to be dealing with too often. And if I hit reset and cancel, it's going to bring me back to my main menu. And those are your image settings.